Hey boy. Say hello to everybody. Hello everybody. Are you on my air hose? What are you doing on my air hose? Hey, welcome back to another build video of the Camp Easy 5945. We're continuing on with the uh, skin on the camper. And part of the skin job, if you noticed in the last video, I left the front bottom of the camper bare. And that's because I'm going to put some aluminum diamond plate on there. This is a 16 gauge, or they call it 063 uh, diamond plate. And it's even though it's a little thicker than the metal, you know, skin that's on the camper, it's still pretty malleable. And there's a slight curve on the front of the camper. And I basically just put a 2x4 on, down the middle of this thing underneath it on the table and use my hands to kind of bend it. So you can see when I set it up here, I put some, uh, some screws on the bottom of the camper to act as a ledge. I'll take those out later. But you can see it goes up here pretty flush and matches the curve. So that should work out pretty well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two beads of polyurethane caulk on the bottom edge of the plywood. Put a couple here on the bottom edge of this skin. And then I'll actually put the skin on with some stainless steel sheet metal screws, some, some self-tapping screws. And I'll be putting butyl tape um, underneath some aluminum trim here on top. So I hope this is going to be as easy as I think it's going to be, but <laughs> we'll see. I'm using three quarter inch, <clears throat> three quarter inch butyl tape. I'm using a gray color that way if it seeps out a little bit, it'll match the color of the aluminum. Uh, I'm just going to put this down with the tape on it. I'm going to leave it a little bit hang out over the edge and I'm just basically centering the tape up on the trim. Now one thing I want to mention is this trim has pre-drilled holes in it. It's pretty widely spaced and I've been using those hole spaces um, on the trim when I'm putting it between two pieces of aluminum skin. But where this is going to be on a piece of diamond plate on the front of the camper, um, I want to make sure that that butyl tape really squeezes around that diamond pattern. So I went ahead and I drilled another set of holes in between the holes that are already on there. That with the combination of the um, of that polyurethane caulk, I think will give me a good seal. So now that that's on there, it's going to give it a light press in and then pull up the tape in between uses of this uh, Trim Pro 635 caulk. I wanted to make sure it didn't dry out. So what I did is I put a wire nut on the end of it and then tuck some electrical tape and tied it. Uh, of all the ways I've used over the years to try to keep caulk from drying out, so far this seems to work about as good as anything I've tried. So let me try that yourself. All right, I need to run some caulk. tape up there, painter's tape. That way if the caulk seeps out, it'll seep out onto the tape. Then I can just peel that off and it'll be nice and clean. Let me go get some screws. Be right back. Well, that worked out great. I had my 18 gauge stapler ready to put one staple on the top of this just to hold it in place until I put the aluminum trim on but the adhesive looks like I think it's going to hold it in place for me so I didn't have to drive a uh, staple in there. I was ready for it, but it looks like I'm not going to have to. That's wonderful. 
So. Like I say, you really need to get this positioned where you want it. There's one inch from the edge. I like to go about halfway out and drive one before I go to the end just to help keep the trim from buckling. I don't think it will, but it's not going to hurt. Hey, just a simple thing I didn't mention. I jacked the front of the trailer up with the tongue jack just to make it a little bit easier to get into. Not nothing major, but uh, just something to think about. So with that, the diamond plate is on. <clears throat> Got the top piece of trim on and the bottom piece. Um, when the camper's finished, I'll pull it outside, let it warm up for a couple hours in the sun, let the butyl tape soften and flow a little bit, and uh, I'll pull these screws out one at a time, put some sealer in the holes, and then put them back in and, and, and really crank them down for their final seat. And then I'll take some more of the Trim Pro 635 after it's all seated in well, and I'll mask off and I'll run a, a good heavy bead of caulk on the top and uh, yeah, yeah, maybe the bottom of each one of these trim pieces just to seal it up good. And like I say, when it uh, comes in contact with the moisture in the air, it turns into rubber. It should be a pretty good seal. The only thing I have, excuse me, the only thing I have left to do is this bottom piece. You'll see a little wood from the floor there. I'm gonna come back in with some flat stock aluminum and some Trim Pro um, towards the end of it and I'll seal that off of there. So uh, the only thing left to do now um, let's put the side skin on there and put the uh, one inch corner molding on there and that'll tie this all in. I'm pretty happy with it. Who says women are the only one that likes diamonds? I like diamond plate. Doggy tail.